All right, this is day two of quarantine archery. Uh, for those who just joined me, uh, we're gonna try and shoot a different bow every day. Uh, yesterday we shot the Mandarin Duck Ching bow, and that was a bow which I hadn't yet reviewed because it stopped being sold. So I thought today I'll go through another bow I haven't reviewed, and I haven't used this ever since I got this. It's the Mariner Ming Moon. Um, now we go from cheap fiberglass bow to like, $800 laminate wood bow. This is absolutely gorgeous. I've used it exactly once and I haven't used it for the last like two years or so. Um, I have been meaning to use it, but you know, when I first got this, I didn't think I was qualified to shoot, if that makes any sense. I just started doing like um, uh, thumb draw archery, I was just starting to read Gao, read Gao Ying, and I hadn't actually done any shooting. So I unboxed it. Um, I bought this by the way, so this wasn't given to me. So I bought this, uh, unboxed it, tried it once, and I haven't shot it since because I didn't have arrows or, or the skill to use it. So um, since I'm now used to some pretty high-end uh, Asiatic bows, I think this is the right chance to give it a proper shot. Um, now I get a little drizzly here, um, otherwise things seem fine. You hear plenty of empty planes and empty trains going by, but let's have a bit of fun. This is a fairly heavy bow. The Ching bow yesterday was 20 pounds. This is a uh, 54 pounds. 28 inches which is roughly what I draw over here and it's 65 and 31 which I can't draw so don't worry about that. Uh, I'll be using a metal thumb ring. Uh, it's a little loose so I'm not going to speed shoot. Um, I'll be adjusting each shot but hopefully it should be okay. Uh, but let's feel the uh, the power of the uh, the, the Marido Ming. This is, I, I bought this to use and I've never actually used it properly so let's see. Let's see how this handles. It should be alright. Um, oh, it's, it's good fun. Alright, we might do adopt some proper technique this time instead of just speed shooting. So, let's have a go. Eagle paw, um, lean in. Oh, that is power. Okay, so I need to get used to that draw weight. So most of my bow is about 45 pounds, or 40 or 45. 20 obviously is easy. Uh, this one takes... I mean, a big point to make is, if, once you start getting heavy bows, you need good technique. Now, 54 isn't that heavy, but if you don't do it right, even for a light bow, then you can hurt yourself. So you do need to set the shoulder right. Oh, that was beautiful. I'll get used to the technique, all right? This is why I haven't trained on this bow, because this is well above what I normally shoot. So this is kind of a dream bow, which I bought like two years early. But uh, absolutely glorious. This is fun. And that comes out so quick. Holy crap, that's a beautiful bow. Uh, we'll, we'll spin the camera around a bit later. That's if I ask for a target can. Guys, this is only 10 meters. It's less than that. So let's not worry about the target so much. <laughs> that's not the point of what we're doing today. <laughs> but uh, this is a hell of a bow. Look at that. Seriously, this is like a laser. <laughs> God, I, I sucked when I first used this. I still do, to be honest. Let's try to get a fuller draw. And it's only for Katra and the, uh, the uh, Chinese star. Oh, man. I mean, I'm a weakling. People shoot hard than this all the time. But there's a difference between uh, enjoying a light bow and speed shooting with a light bow and getting a good feeling with a well-made, heavier bow. Whew. That's nice. That is very nice. A little collapse there. Let's keep on working the expansion. It's not that heavy, but every shot feels good. Oh, probably could go a bit further. Man, that's great. That is so satisfying. When people ask which is better, the, uh, the, the Raptor from Simon or the Mariner, I think the Mariner slightly outages it. This is a, a much more refined bow. Raptor is great too, I might shoot the Raptor at some point soon again, but um, <laughs> I still think this is a slightly better bow, to be honest. 
but it's a very different design. Of course, it's a Ming style bow, so the design's quite different. It'll feel different. The grip is actually really good too. Um, like I said, one that I review, we've got uh, the the Ray Pass, the Ray Skin Pass. Very nice grip there. But uh, that is a very solid bow. Wow, that was amazing. Like I said, when I started shooting thumbs, I was pretty bad. So I was pretty uh, uh, apprehensive about shooting in the, even like this distance, but. Now I know how to shoot them, draw, I've got more control and more confidence, which counts for a lot in archery. So this is uh, how fast it goes. And my thumb looks a little loose, but uh, we'll make it work somehow. There we go. Okay. There we go. Got set in. Did you see that? <laughs> That's less than a second. That's awesome. Oh man, I should bring this in range and shoot. This is uh, a real bow should feel like, right? Woo. I'll do this for the whole quarantine period, I'll be buff ass. <laughs> I'm not exactly using good form. Give me a break, alright? I haven't really practiced uh, Gaoying archery for a while. Not ever, really. Just read about it. Oh! That really goes in. Now, yeah, crazy draws here. Squirt on the front shoulder. Getting it down. Not the pain. Nice. I should be using more of a front anchor, but I'm just feeling the flexions on the cheek for now. I'm using these arrows for everything, so not much precise arrows. They're good enough, they'll be job done. The conditioning will come later. Oh, so good. So, so good. I'm not doing that badly either. <laughs> like I said, I normally, uh, when I started uh, doing this, I normally would spray that target. I just didn't have the control, but, uh, the confidence and the thumb technique now after about a year or so of training. Oh, that's a tad terrible shot. <laughs> I lost the control there. <laughs> but uh, it's paying off. So I probably won't shoot as long with this bow, but uh, I mean, people ask, how do you work up the high draw weight? The key is simply shoot high draw weights. Um, it takes time to work into it, but you don't necessarily progress by shooting light bows all the time. That's good for um, structure, it's good for um, form, but true conditioning comes from shooting heavy and heavier bows. So it is a progression. That was good. That was good. Let's just focus on that slow expansion. So, I'm not trying to get in here and shoot. I'm gonna get in here, then keep on expanding and then let go. I'm trying, I'm trying to work with it. Let's see how that goes. I've gotta say, the bow at least looks fabulous on camera. <laughs> oh, it is such a beautiful bow. Uh, like I said, I bought it as a dream bow, and uh, now I'm using it. It's about time, too. It's been years. I should have used it a long time ago. But what great fun this is. Oh yeah, I'm feeling better about it now. I think I've warmed up, stretched out a bit.
nice. Yeah. Alright, so uh, I might do more grinding off camera. That was exceptionally fun. Um, nice heavier weight than I'm used to, but I feel good about it. Uh, and of course, an excellent bow to shoot. Uh, one day when the whole thing is over and we can go outside again, then we might do a review about this. But uh, now that I've shot it properly for more than three shots, uh, ho ho! Um, definitely one of my favorite bows in my collection. I feel bad not shooting it for years. But uh, now that I've got the confidence, I think I can do it justice and uh, you know, can you blame me for commitment? And that's day two of our quarantine. So, uh, what do you think guys? What should the next bow be? For the Ching bow, we have the Ming bow. What's day three going to be? Post your thoughts below. This is New Sensei, thank you for watching and hopefully you are safe wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.